In this tutorial, we'll show you how to take the Citron L ILM216 integrated serial LCD module and use it with uh, an Arduino or similar microcontroller. We pulled off the data sheet from the online Citron archives and it's the first manual right here. If you do a little Google searching, you'll find uh, a little bit of information from the Citron blog uh, and an example from a different LCD backpack and something they did to figure out how to clear the screen. So we'll put all that stuff together in one video. If you look at the user's manual for this particular LCD screen, you'll notice all the pinouts, making sure that pin 1 is your ground, pin 2 is 5 volts, and pin 3 is our serial in. That's the basics that we need to get started with this particular uh, LCD screen. So we'll look at a fritzing diagram. This is how we wired this up. And this is a typical 16 by 2. And if we just look at this as pin 1, that's our ground. Pin 2 is going to be our 5 volts. And pin 3 is that serial in. And I put it to pin the digital pin 3 on the Arduino. Now, to program the Arduino, we're going to look at using the software serial library. So make sure to include that. We're also going to define an RX pin as a value that's not a pin on the microcontroller. We're going to value, uh, create a value for the TX pin, and that's going to be pin number three, just as we had labeled here in our drawing. Okay, this particular LCD screen needs to be inverted, so that means that the RS-232 serial commands need to be inverted for this to understand what's coming through. Okay, this is the clear screen array, so we just need to look at 12 comma 0, that works with this particular module, and then we're just creating a hello world character. Initializing the library, we'll call something, you know, my serial, and we'll initialize the RX pin, TX pin, which is three, and we're going to make sure that our inverted is on. In our setup, we're going to write the TX pin low. We're going to make sure we do our pin mode, and pin three is an output. After we've initialized our serial, we need to begin this at 2400 baud rate. If you look in the manual, you'll notice the baud rate shown on the test screen, 2400 is the factory settings. If you'd like to run this at 9600, you can pull pin 8 to ground and you would just change this line to 9600. We'll clear the screen here and print hello world as our standard message. Then we can add something in our void loop. That's the basis for using this particular serial module. We'll upload that to Arduino and check and make sure everything is working. All right, we're gonna check our board here. Com nine. And we're gonna just put in our text. Make sure everything's working. We will upload. Oh, and there it goes.